Hey guys, what's going on? Robert French, aka Red Fred, Red Five French, coming back at you with a little more heavy rain. Got this game free with the free download of uh, Detroit Become Human with the PlayStation Plus Plus. I can never say that PlayStation Plus membership. There we go. And uh, we actually have been having some heavy rain, so I figured uh, we would play some heavy rain. Actually, the rain hasn't been too too heavy. It's been kind of of more of a light, more of a light drizzle out today, but still kind of gloomy out, kind of nasty. I don't know what this is all about here. I think the last I was playing, I was supposed to put my son to bed. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, just walk right past me there. Okay, I guess he's eating dinner now. Okay, okay, this is where I left off yesterday. All right, here we go. Sit down with him here while he eats. Spend a little time with him. This has uh, been kind of a weird game. Um, Detroit Become Human is very similar, I guess, in the control style and the play, but um, <clears throat> a lot more action. Uh, this game's kind of bizarre. Okay, yeah, I tried to do this yesterday. I wasn't having very, very much luck here. Oh. actually kind of what it looks like outside. It's raining. I'd better get back inside. Mm. It's actually not even raining that hard outside right now. It was kind of raining like that last night. But now that we've had the weather report, let's check with sports. There is no sports right now. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? All right, dude. You already didn't do your homework. No. Now, that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right. I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I wonder what they're watching okay. in the background. If anybody knows what they're watching in the background, please comment. Let me know. I guess I could Google it. Pretty interesting, so so far I gather I'm just a now the first day with a kid in this game, just kind of different plot twists. Typically you play a video game to get away from real life. This video game is all about real life. I guess this is what Fortnite players play when they want to get away from Fortnite. What's real life like? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Weird. 
titanium? See the upstairs, maybe. Yeah, let's get some <coughs> some lights going on in this place. And I looked at that uh, video yesterday of when the other son actually got hit by the car and died, and it looks like the Good father night, took the sh my teddy. I haven't got my teddy, the, Dad. The brunt of the you hit. must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could I feel be? Like no, Dad. The Please, father I can't got by the car and him. fell on his son. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it. Okay. Like Beavis and Butthead. Ah, there it is. That was easy. off you can still hear the TV on. It's a weird game. Teddy Bear to sleep after all, kid. Okay, I really don't know what's going on, so. Birthday party, been to the mall. Orange juice I drink in 
yesterday's video the only food I've had all day. I'm starting to get a little concerned because the story for Detroit Become Human is quite amazing. I mean, you know, very science fiction, I love science fiction, but just the overall story, the message is pretty deep. So far, I'm not sure about this story. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Hmm. Nope. Can't right say it does. All right, so this one seems to be more like a... Uh... Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Quick, just to see what's happening. But okay, I kind of see how this is going to be uh, playing out. Is this is the third floor. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Huh. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Oh, wow. me. Hooker. your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? No questions asked about that. You got it. Do I get on to bed? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. I'm here for information. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to the ask you some questions. Origami killer. I love origami. I'm kind of upset that they're taking origami. I already told the police all I know and nasty, I have nothing to add. Associated with killers and leave me alone. Prostitutes. Let's go with compassion. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going. Through. She looks like she's got a oh, deep yeah? heart. You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. Huh. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? Boom. It's a guilt trip. 
What do you want to know? Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes Go on right for he the fought line. with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. You want one? No thanks, I quit. <laughs> That's brave. So I can change the scene. Is that it? No more questions? Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. This kind of reminds me of a game I used to play. I wanted um, to stop, you know. Sherlock we Holmes for money. Sega CD. I was trying to earn enough More or less to get us out of here. Let the story play it out by asking questions. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? Uh, visiting different people, depending on who you visit and what questions you ask. And sure, I thought of it at first. The, the order in which you ask the questions would help you solve the but help it you solve the case. But it didn't make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny like I said it's a relaxing and all those other kids change of pace from the intense uh, action of Spider-Man or Fortnite oh that's the alarm time's up Mr. Shelby I hope you got what you wanted now get out of here I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. I didn't learn squat. Well, <laughs> worth a try. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. No point in pushing it. She's not going to tell me anymore. I gotta get out of here. Lauren, is everything all right? She doesn't She's just look like swell. it. Now beat it, loser. You again? Yep. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit up. Oh. No. Oh, 
Sherlock Holmes on Sega CDs. It's pretty awesome. I'll see you again, asshole. I hope not. Damn. Are you all right? No, oh, I'm actually him, I guess. pretty tired. Who Shit. is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, well, stories definitely start to uh, pick up a little bit. Sam Douglas plays Scott Shelby. Um. So I'm not familiar with anything that he's done, but so far I like playing his character a bit, bit better. A couple of trophies earned. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it uh, right here, guys. Um, uh, thanks for for tuning in. Glad the story's picking up a little bit because I was feeling kind of bad. I wanted to switch up some videos. Uh, do something different aside from Fortnite and some of the other stuff I've been doing. Give people some content, being that they're stuck at home and uh, hadn't really tried this game out, so I figured I'd give it a whirl. And the beginning seemed kind of kind of slow. A lot of things are picking up. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Uh, looks like it's getting really crazy right now. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. And uh, remember, until next time. Don't forget to ready up. <laughs>